Welcome to Pow World, where you can pick up fallen branches, hit trees, and get some wood. Anyway, that's not why you're watching this video, you want to know how to fix the game. So if you're having issues with Pow World crashing, freezing, and not launching on your computer, then this is the video for you. So as you can see, I'm in game at the moment, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is just simply close down the game. So I'm just going to hit on escape, or in fact, before you do that actually, go onto the title, so click on the title, go yes, and once the main screen opens, the title, you're going to want to go to options, go onto graphics, and just change the preset to very low, and then go back and press yes. Now jump into game and see if that resolved the issue that you're having with black screen, crashing, freezing, blah, 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 blah. And if that did resolve the issue, then you've got your graphics settings set too high in game and you need to configure them, optimize them, whatever word you want to use. Now check out the link in the description below. I have just done a video on how to optimize the game, improve the FPS and reduce lag. So it's definitely worth checking out that video. Now the next thing that we want to do is just completely close down the game. Now once you've closed down the game, we first need to ensure that Windows is up to date. I know that's a pretty obvious thing to do, but I still like to throw it in these videos. So right click on the start menu, go on to settings, go on to update and security, and then just click on check for updates. Also ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So download Easy Game Utility, a program that I created. Once you download it, if you click onto graphics, you will see your graphics card. Just go ahead and click on driver download. It will then take you to the website where you can download the latest driver for your graphics card. Obviously, there's your graphics card, so I've got an RX6750 XT, so I'll download a driver for that graphics card on AMD's website. The next thing to do on Easy Game Utility is go across to the Clean tab, and you then want to click on Clean next to Steam. So I'm just going to close down Steam quickly so I can actually do this. So if I now click on Clean and OK, you can see it's now cleaned the cache files for Steam. Once you've done that, go across to graphics and then click on clean next to your graphics card and OK, and then do the same for DirectX and OK. Once you've done all that, now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the problems you're having. Now, if that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that you can do in Easy Game Utility is go across to the Fix tab. You can then click on Custom Game Fixing and then go Browse. If you now browse to the location where Powwow World is installed on your computer, I nearly said the wrong name then. Um, anyway, select the .exe and go open. So you do get a free trial on this. And if you do purchase the pro version of Easy Game Utility, then thank you very much. All the support does mean a lot to me, as obviously, like I said, I created this program and I put a lot of time and effort into developing it. Anyway, so once you select .exe, click on the drop down and select Steam and then go attempt fix. Now this is going to attempt to fix the game. It's going to run through loads of different methods and then once it's finished, it's then going to launch the game. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do if you're still having the crashing issues is to right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. Now go on to gaming and you then want to turn off the game bar. Also, if you do have any other overlays running on your computer while trying to play the game, such as MSI Afterburner, Fraps, Nvidia Overlay, AMD Overlay, and things like that, turn it all off as it could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. That also involves ensuring that you do have everything closed in the background when launching it, such as web browsers, Discord, music players, and things like that. Just close everything down. Now once you've done all that and if you're still having issues, next thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that your security software is put into either a passive mode, a game mode or disabled. Obviously only disable it if you do feel confident doing that as you know your system might not be protected from threats while it's turned off. Once you've done that go ahead and launch the game again. If the game works then you know your security is blocking it so you need to obviously accept the game, put it into the exclusions list or something like that. Now the next thing is to right click on the start menu icon, go to task manager and also ensure that on users tab that no one else is signed in that could obviously be causing the game to crash. So sign out all the users. 
just ensure that they have saved their work before you go ahead and select their name and then just click on disconnect or sign out whatever button you've got available down there. If none of the methods so far have not helped fix the game then it could be because the game is currently in early access so you might need to wait for a new update that resolves the issue you're having. However, if you open up Steam you can go to your games library and select the game and right click on it and go to properties. You can then go on to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files just in case that one of the files have become corrupted or missing. So go ahead and click on that and then see if it detects an issue. Now that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.